Hi, good morning everyone. Today, I might make a longer video. Um, we're gonna have a little interesting conversation and it's gonna be about things that you think you know and you are absolutely clueless about. <laughs> and that doesn't say a lot, but it's another one of those hang on to your hat kind of moments. Okay, let's make this about what's happening in our reality today. Okay, first off, we're now seeing for the first time incredibly record-breaking, low costs when we go to the pump. You know, gas up your vehicle, whatever, oil. And I started looking into this. I've known this for a really long time, 20, 30 years at least. And I'm going to now say things about it. Everyone believes, and this is what's taught to them, that oil is a fossil fuel. Okay, we're gonna put on our thinking caps, we're gonna activate your brain processes, and then you're gonna research everything I say. Let's think about this, oil. Oil is a fossil fuel, really. So, how far down do you have to go to get oil? Is it right at the surface? Sometimes it is. Most of the time they have to drill, don't they? It's very expensive. They go out to the ocean and they drill. They go on land and they drill. They go down thousands and thousands of feet to get this jackpot oil. Well, as far as I know, I don't think that anything lives inside of rock as far as dinosaurs and vegetation thousands of feet down. Think about this. Did you ever hear of an ecosystem in system existing inside of rock that is carbon-based? And I have a reason to say this too, because there is life in rock, but it's not carbon-based. <laughs> it's silicon-based. But I digress. The whole concept of dinosaurs was invented. You won't think so. And your first knee-jerk reaction is, no, Jurassic Park! <laughs> What a fantasy. Now, oil is actually sentient. It is the lifeblood of Gaia, planet Earth. Just as you and I have a vessel, so does Gaia. We call it planet Earth. She's alive. Her system doesn't run red blood through her system. She runs black sentient blood, and it's called oil, crude oil. It is the life force of Gaia. You ever wonder why in the 70s and from that point up, there's always been a oil crisis, an oil crisis. We should have run out of oil many, many years ago. Funny thing is, if you go and research, a lot of these wells that were drilled, dug, driven, whatever, fill back up. Why do you think that is? Do you think the dinosaurs came back and refilled it up? Or maybe the vegetation replanted itself thousands of miles deep? <laughs> oh, do you think that the dinosaurs keep replenishing all this oil that we're missing? <laughs> we should have been out of it many, many years ago. No, but Gaia is like us. She's a sentient being, and so she produces this in her system. It's what makes the Earth the Earth. Wrap your head around that one. The lies are deep and thick. You know, I see people sit around, and I've seen this for centuries. Well, me here, looking through centuries. They sit around and they concoct ideas to try to make you believe something. There's more oil than you can shake a stick at because it's constantly being produced. Oh, and by the way, it's just like you going to the blood bank and giving your blood. Are you gonna run out of blood? No, I don't think so. <laughs> You'll just produce more. Then you have to ask yourself, where's all that blood going? Yeah, we have to look real close at that. And we may discuss that now too. Just as we use oil, other beings use our blood um, as food, a food source. So all these blood drives, most of it's ending up as a food source. <laughs> yeah, some of it does get reused to people who require it. And that's not the majority of it. <laughs> um, that was also a concocted idea to align themselves with malevolent forces who require that blood of ours. And um, that way they could get technology. 
Mm, that's just a whole nother nasty story. Anyway, I digress. So now, if the dinosaurs didn't make the oil, were there even dinosaurs? What if you needed to concoct a story because you knew that you wanted to do something to make you a lot of money and you wanted people to believe there was a limited amount of it, so you need to pay a lot of money for this? Well, where's the oil supposedly coming from where it couldn't be replenished? Well, dinosaurs, of course. We're going to make dinosaurs. Sweeties, there's never been dinosaurs. There never was. Here, and I can prove this real easily. How many times did we go and break ground to build, I don't know, apartment buildings, homes, um, shopping malls? How come in every one of those excavations, we're not coordinating it off because we just ran into dinosaurs of all shapes and sizes? Never. Never. We've only found, supposedly, Dinosaurs in Utah in a two-mile radius. You can search this out and suss it up. And I guess the entire ecosystem only lived in a two-mile radius in Utah. Is that what our belief system is? So we should only be having oil in Utah in that two-little-mile radius. Oh, and I don't think it would be thousands of miles deep. It would be on the surface, pretty damn near it. <laughs> we haven't gained that much surface in an amount of time. That's another thing the length of this reality. <laughs> it's been so exaggerated. We're not billions and billions of years old. No, we're not. <laughs> Please go see video three and five and find out what you're really living in. But anyway, these are a lot of the lies and deception that have been given to us that we have said over and over and over to the point where we believe it. We put it in our textbooks, but you can't prove it. You can't back it up. We should be having dinosaurs at every excavation site. We should be going into our backyard, digging down 15, 20 feet and hitting mother load dinosaurs. <laughs> but we're not, we never did. They never existed to begin with. It was the lie to perpetuate the oil to make the money. Nasty, isn't it? It's, what is that old saying? Oh, what tangled webs we weave when first we practice to deceive. And the lies get thicker and thicker and more entwined, entailed. It's just something. Spinning a yarn. <laughs> you can say I'm spinning a yarn, but go and investigate it. And find what you find. Find that oil is only found at a certain depth, most of it where nothing could have existed except for life forms that are crystalline. Because at one point this was, oh, I need to make a whole video on that, our crystalline reality. <laughs> when the entire snow globe used to be pneumonia or ammonia and silicon and everything in it was crystalline. Yes, that's why there's so much silicon in this snow globe. Because at one time, that's what it was. And um, the one thing that ammonia and silicon don't really cotton well to is water, especially ammonia. And it turns everything to petrif petrification. It petrifies. Water will petrify that. They don't mix. So if you wanted to get rid of an entire reality civiliz civilization, what are you going to do? You're going to introduce water, CO2, so you can bring in and wipe the scale for a whole new experiment, a carbon-based one, which would be us. But I think I'll have to make a whole video on that. That's really interesting. When I was looking into that, it was extremely interesting. Anyway, I digress. So yes, your oil, it's Gaia's lifeblood, like we have lifeblood, we call it blood, red car puzzles or whatever they're called, blood. <laughs> so there you go, another reason to lie to you, to make money, to keep you encaptured into this fantasy of theirs that they keep inventing. The next one will be the aliens. Oh, the alien invasion! Yeah. Sweeties, if there was an alien invasion happening, it happened a long time ago. And not only that, do you think anything that's that superior wouldn't have conquered us, but that's not what they're made of, made of. That's not what it's about. If anything was that superior, which there are because 
this is the bottom of the totem pole here. <laughs> um, they wouldn't have to come in and do anything. They would just do it. And you don't have to worry about them coming. I love how Hollywood puts out these alien movies and we're the humans, we're the good guys. No, we're the manipulated, manipulated guys. We're the, the idiots that fall for that crap because of fear. As it's all based in fear. Everything is fear, 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 fear. Now fear the aliens. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway, this is going to be a really long video. And I just wanted to talk about oil. <laughs> so I guess I'll end this video. And I, I am going to make some more videos about topics like this where you have been hoodwinked to believe things so people can get rich off you and you can stay their slaves and food. <laughs> okay, everybody have a great day. Bye.